What is up YouTube? This is Zach, Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick overview on just a small part of this big installation that we're doing here, which is installing and aligning an Epson 6050 to a Dragonfly high contrast 120 inch fixed frame screen. These are very popular and very affordable options that a lot of people are purchasing from us all around the country. We really appreciate y'all's support. If you would like to purchase this product, we have nationwide free shipping and a low price guaranteed. All right, let's get into it. So if you guys are interested in seeing this particular space right here, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This is gonna be coming out soon. This is a full walkthrough every step of the way, cutting in all of these awesome 100 series Focal in-wall LCR speakers, as well as installing the equipment in the closet, you know, installing the surround speakers, the subs, everything. It's probably gonna be like a 30 minute video. So if you're really interested, make sure to check that out. The guys are working hard out here for you. Now, this video, I'm gonna talk about the screen, which is about to go up. This particular bracket is supplied from Dragonfly and the screws, everything you need to get it put up there. And this is the bracket that actually holds the screen. You just screw it into the studs at the top and these little um, plastic fabric things put it exactly where it needs to be for the bottom and the projector screen clicks into place and you can unlock it with these little tabs here. The screen is already put together, it's out here and we again in the full video show exactly how this is installed but this is a good performer. You got a 0.09 gain on here so you get a little bit more contrast and color pop out of it. You don't want to use that on a low lumen output projector but on these bright Epsons, it does really well. This is the Epson 6050. This isn't native 4K, this is eShift 4K. So the difference there is, is native 4K is true, whereas eShift is emulating 4K. What it's doing is pixel shifting. So it takes 1080p, shifts one pixel over to the right, one down and one over and down to the right. So the downside to this is, if you're really close up on a screen or if you go with a screen that's too big, you get something called the screen door effect because of the pixel shifting technology. But the three LCD uh, E-Shift is incredible for the money. It, this actually has a million two hundred thousand one contrast as well and 2600 lumen output. So it's a bright unit. Comes with the projector mount from Chief, which is installed up there. And it also comes with the back cover and it comes with a spare bulb. The bulb alone is 300 bucks. And it's just nice to know that you got the peace of mind that you're not gonna have to worry about any extra maintenance costs on this for at least five years, minimum, depending on the usage. Um, what else? I think that about wraps it up. This is the 6050. So we just bolted it right into the beam that's running this way. And you can see the location where it was pre-wired just wasn't doing it based on the throw distance. You always want to calculate your throw distance prior to mounting the projector and that's just going to cut back on you having to remount it again. So we double check to make sure the throw will work and uh, bolted lag bolts right into that stud. You always want to go into a stud. These projectors aren't light. After you do that, you put the pole on there, which Aaron already did and then the actual mount itself clicks on. Again, check out the full video if you want to see that install. Now, what we're going to do is show you how to align it. First step is to level it to earth, which we have already done. You're going to level it front to back. And then once the screen's up here, which we're about to put it up next, we will show you how to actually align it with the lens shift and everything like that. <clears throat> So you're just going to take the top of the frame and put it right onto that top bracket like that. And then you actually have to take your hands, I'm in a dress shirt so I can't really do it, but you got to kind of push up and in and it'll click right into place. Good. 
Oh, that time it was easier. Sometimes you actually have to kind of push the whole thing. Now we're getting into the fun part, guys. We're gonna align this projector. First thing that you're gonna do is go into the menu and you're gonna flip the image. May be hard to see, so what Aaron's doing right now is just adjusting the focus so that he can see that menu. Once you go into the menu, you're gonna go down a couple menus. One more. And projection is your, your choice right there. You're gonna change that to front projection, ceiling flips the image, so now it's appropriate, you're gonna go back into the lens on the remote, right here, and you're gonna, yep, it's now inverted. You're gonna select inverted and you're gonna shift it down into place. Once the projector image is shifted down into place, you wanna align the top of the image right at the top of the screen. That's the first place to start and then zoom it close to where it needs to be. You can see because we took our time and did everything right, measured out dead center of the room for the screen, dead center of the room for the projector, it's already lining up nice and straight. Plus, we went and measured the, um, the frame to make sure that the frame's square. So we have all our bases covered. So, I mean, look at this. It's almost perfect. We're, we're, we're very, very close. Let's go up just a little bit. And now you can see you're, you're skewed over there on the, the bottom right hand side. This is where a lot of people are like, whoa, what do I do? All you have to do is physically move the projector to the right and then shift back to the left with the lens. What's happening is the projector is firing to the right, which is what's causing that warp. Or sorry, the projector is firing to the left. It's actually, you can't see it. It looks straight, but it's not. So we're gonna move it just a little bit. Yep, like right there, that's probably good. Actually back a little bit. Like right there, that's probably perfect. So now you can see it's a little bit more straight. The top came off level though. So you always wanna keep the top level and then that'll bring down the left hand side. You gotta kinda, kinda tweak it. But the key there is, is if you start with the top level and then once you see the bottom is uh, off on one side, you got a bigger gap, physically move the projector that direction in small increments until you get it perfect. After finessing it for a minute, Aaron got this projector dialed in. It's perfect. Last step is just to Toggle back and forth on the focus to make sure you're getting it as crisp as possible. And I recommend turning the lights off for this guy. So we're gonna kill the lights in here so that he can make sure the image is optimized. This is called racking the focus. You rack it left, rack it right. And then eventually, you're gonna see the pixels start to get super tight. And that's when you know you're dialed in. All right guys, well that does conclude my video on showing you how to align an Epson 6050 with a Dragonfly high contrast gray fixed frame screen. I hope that you enjoyed this video and found it informative in helping you set up your system. If you would like to purchase anything for your home theater, we offer nationwide free shipping and a low price guaranteed, as well as a free design service. So this is really important. If you guys don't know what to do, like most people, you don't do home theater every day for the last 10 years like we have. So we have the solutions for you and we have options at all different budgets and price points. We'd really be happy to help you guys out throughout the entire country, as well as get you in touch with one of our preferred installers. We're constantly working on growing that network throughout the country of other people that believe in providing that same five-star service that we provide currently. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap on this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Till next time, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.